I like my body on most days. I think growing up, I liked it a lot more. And so I'm trying to develop that relationship with my body again, where it's just a loving relationship. I am quite comfortable with, with my structure. I would love to lose some weight just to feel fit, but I have a very broad uh, structure in general, like my bone structure. I'm, I'm from the US, so from a Western standpoint, we have a very definitive idea of what uh, a body type should be. Growing up, I think, uh, especially in the, the 70s and the 80s, there weren't that many people that even looked anything like me. They didn't have brown skin, they didn't have brown eyes, they didn't have round figures, they didn't have big carriers. It took a while to realize that it's fine to be, I think, in this shape and size because I have broad shoulders and a shorter body type and longer legs because I was playing football and going for like kickboxing and MMA to make sure that I was fit. I think as I grew older, as I got married and had children, the importance of a body type subsided. It became important once again when my daughter started growing up and we talked about different body types and uh, there was so much peer pressure to fit into a certain norm. So I have a condition called polycystic ovary disorder which apparently has been making me put on a lot of weight in the past few years. Because of that, even if I work out twice as hard, I tend to lose half as much weight as you know people who don't have PCOD. The most important thing is having some form of exercise every single day. And I like going to the gym, I like working out. So even if it takes a lot for me to lose weight, I don't mind giving it that much time and effort. Am I comfortable in my body type? Initially, no. Uh, because society tends to put a lot of pressure on women to conform to an ideal shape or an ideal body type, which I didn't have. I didn't have an hourglass figure by any stretch of the imagination. I think the perfect image according to society would be having, as a woman, would be to be taller, have larger breasts and a big ass at the same time, and a thin waist, so like more of an hourglass shape. That changed to a more boyish kind of figure later and uh, now it's I think a more athletic kind of figure which is considered to be perfect so the ideals have kept changing and sometimes I would feel that uh, maybe if I'd lived in so and so age I would have been the perfect body. I've been losing weight putting on weight constantly for years now but at the end of the day that doesn't change who I am inside and that's what matters. It all depends on the kind, right kind of clothing the right kind of makeup the right kind of grooming. I'm very moody when it comes to clothing. When I'm not in the mood to like dress up, I put on like boy shorts and boy t-shirts because I'm a boy at the end of it. And sometimes when I'm in the mood to experiment, I'm just like go all out and I put some makeup, put some, wear some frills and all that. So clothing and society's ideal perception cannot come in the same zone all the time. A lot of times you'll have to be standing out of the zone, but if you're comfortable in it, it works for you. Okay, the retail market definitely is aimed towards um, a much younger profile. There is a lot of stock available for the skinny, uh, lean figures and younger age groups. So when I go and try to buy something in the retail market, I really need to search. I don't find it everywhere. This is like, there was a time when I had to go to like the maternity section to like search for my clothes because uh, I would like to like camouflage my tummy and wear like loose stuff which was kind of fitting on top but like loose after the after the waistline. For example, jeans are really weird for me because it's like I have a thinner waist but then a larger, I'm heavier at the bottom so then that's, that itself is like awkward. Going to a retail store is pretty hard because um, a lot of times if I go to the, I, I don't really wear a lot of girly clothes. So a lot of time when I go to a retail store, it's mostly about why you in the men's section and uh, questions like that. It is pretty hard actually to get clothes that I like to wear. Sometimes you find those like only in designer stores or very, very rarely, but you don't find them regularly in the market, which is a bit hard. Since I was a kid, I've been like getting my shoes made, getting my clothes uh, like stitched my own style. First of all, it's really economic. Second, you get what you actually want. 
third since if you're really like uh, familiar with your body type just like you just know what to do and what not to do and where to like accentuate your body parts and like how to make them look better and uh, i also feel like customization uh, helps you um, be and behave and and just feel really comfortable and confident uh, in comparison to something that you know ranges from a small to an xl and you know every like every body type's not the same and you can't just have the same clothes for every body type and you need to be comfortable in what you wear i am at that stage in my life where customization makes sense i can afford it perhaps not everyone can because when you're starting out you tend to be a bit more budget conscious but i think in the long run it does work out because you would get something which is unique and something that suits you and is something that's comfortable so i think everyone would find customization worth it if they took a bit of time and money to invest in custom clothing i prefer to have something custom made because it's it's more personalized and you're interacting with an actual human being and it's not uh, someone's idea of what a a woman should look like it's your own idea and and that idea combined with an actual designer is i think much more fulfilling i would say love your bodies and love your more importantly love yourselves you're unique different and beautiful just the way you are and you shouldn't let anyone else's definition of beauty or what is beautiful interfere cloud how you view yourself one piece of advice that i would like to like give people when it comes to clothing and when it comes to fashion and trends is that don't follow as a fashion stylist too don't follow like fashion trends blindly you know there are a hell lot of fashion trends that won't feel uh, suit you or your body type so just like you know with a permutation and combination of things you'll get to know what suits you very well and what doesn't suit you very well uh, you need to be comfortable with who you are to to be who you want to be because if you're uncomfortable with the way you look and and the way you're structured you're not going to be able to carry out anything confidently so make sure that you choose your clothes well and uh, be confident because that helps who you are as a whole as well honestly it doesn't matter what shape or size you are uh, at the end of the day as long as you stay fit and uh, accept yourself and your body for whatever it is and uh, wear comfortable clothing and you're happy in it, it that's all that matters I think. I think it's important to know your body type so a specialist a, a fashion designer or an image consultant can really help you I think a lot of people have got conditioned to think of an ideal body type and once that's broken down I think your image would come forth and you'd be comfortable in your own skin it might rebel against the common notions in society but that's fine and I think that should be encouraged It takes a little bit of work. It takes a little bit of introspection, but um, in the end, it's worth it because uh, you you can't compare yourself to anyone else. You are unique, and I think that that is the most important thing that uh, works for me.